hey everyone it's me who else would it be so as promised um i did get some questions in my inbox got a lot actually but i think they are mostly from the same person because i'm all very rude and intrusive but i might answer them who knows um i'm only gonna do a certain amount like i'm gonna try to keep it under 10 like Ten, around 10 minutes because I know most people dip out after that and honestly if you're looking for some real tea and some real dirt I would skip like the first 10 minutes of my video and then go to the end when they're long like 25 minutes go to the end all the good stuff is there because I know nobody's watching except for like maybe three people <laughs> and I love you three people um okay so um look Okay, first question I picked was, do I have kids? No, I do not have kids. Um, okay, so like, I never wanted kids. I decided at six years old I didn't want kids. Uh, I've been pretty steadfast in that belief. I did get pregnant twice, and I lost both of them. Um, my body's probably just not healthy enough to have kids, which is okay with me. I, I was sad and sometimes I still get sad about it, but not like, oh, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like there was a reason and I'm probably better off without the kids, especially considering one of them would have been with my ex and that would have been a mess. Um... You know, and I'm not trying to sound callous about it. Because it was. It really devastated me. When you're pregnant, you... I was going to accept full responsibility and be a parent to that child. Um, you know, and I even na had names picked out and talked to it and whatnot. But, like, it just wasn't meant to be. Which, honestly, is for my best. Or the for the best. Because I can't even take care of myself half the time. So, why would I want to be selfish and bring a child into my mess? Anyways, but on the other hand of that, like, I think I would be a helicopter parent, so I would want to homeschool, especially living where we live. <laughs> um, you know, like, when my nephew was here, I was talking about homeschooling him. You know, and we had friends, and he went to Taekwondo. We did uh, activities, like there's a church here that has, like, kids stuff to do, and he went to that. There was a program at the library, you know. Um, I have a friend who homeschools their kids, and they are just the smartest, most well-behaved. It's just amazing children, and yeah. So... I just, um, I don't know. Um, I, I'm an overthinker and an over -worrier, So I don't know if I'd be the best mom. It'd be a hard time for me. But who knows what the future may hold. And I say that as knowing that I'm not going to have kids. But I'm saying that as somebody who has some stuff going on in the background. And uh, if you're a member... You kind of know about it. Um, it's all up in the air. So who knows? Who knows what the future may hold? A lot of things in my life are shifting into di different directions and places I never thought they'd be. Because honestly, like, I don't do my career that much anymore. So maybe the universe is shifting for me to be a caregiver to a child. An 11 year old child um, which is funny because I'm gonna be 11 this year too on the 29th I turn 11 <laughs> um, and if you don't understand that I, I was born on leap year I'm gonna be 44 and I'm gonna be 11 and my nephew is gonna be 11 um, in March so that's kind of cute uh, you know, her elf gonna be 11. I, you know, so yeah, I won't get into that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Are you single? 
Mm, that's kind of a weird question. No. <laughs> um, no, but yes. I don't know what you call this. Because I'm not married anymore. So, um, right now I'm in a situationship. No, I'm in a relationship that's on the rocks and we're working on rebuilding it possibly, or it's on a trial run in the next six months, either we will rebuild this relationship or this relationship will be done and we will go our separate ways. Um, there are things that need to be done and I don't know how to explain it like therapy um steps he's going to AA um there's doctor's appointments to see if he actually has dementia or what kind of dementia which is a very scary thing to go through alone so you know and also like at this moment in time um like it's a whole complicated thing and it's it's a lot so and it's it's something it, it's hard for both of us and we're both working on but he actually is working on it for me for him sort of thing and like I always tell him if you don't want to do the steps you don't have to nobody's making you do anything but you can't do those things here and if you want to stay here you have to do these things kind of thing so you know there's always other options so no because if this relationship is done I don't believe I want another relationship um so I just don't like where dating is now I don't like the way relationships are now I don't like people <laughs> I don't like people um I just rather just be me and my dogs and I think he's home hold on okay I guess it's just those two acting a fool um or he's home and he walked back out <laughs> he went fishing I was like why don't you go fishing and he took Penny with him which is why I have Pip in the room with me we were working on some one-on-one -on -one training and we were also working on trying to get Junior and Pip to get along but that was kind of like eh. Pip's still too hyper Junior's still too afraid so it's gonna be a process I mean I don't know it may never be where we can have all four dogs in the room together it might always be two sets of two unless somebody gets adopted <laughs> Um, but it may always be two sets of two. Okay. Did top, did bottom. Let's see, middle. Okay, why don't you X, Y, Z? And why I put X, Y, Z, it says hair, gym, shopping. That was my, because there was a few questions. Why don't you just go to a hair salon? Why don't you go to the gym? Why don't you, or why do you have such big grocery hauls? Why don't you this? You know, why don't you that? Like, okay. And this will be the last question because we're already at nine minutes. I might do a part two. So if you have any questions, let me know. So, take everything you know about living with modern conveniences, okay? about having things driving distance and throw that out the window and then if you're like semi-rural where you know things are like oh a half hour 45 hmm, half hour 45 minute drive to things you know okay throw that out the window too <laughs> so where we live where I live we live whatever um, we don't have any of that. <laughs> I know there's a few places you can get your hair cut, but that's another thing. Like, I don't like people touching me. I have not had my hair professionally done since I was like 13, 14 years old. 
yeah, there was this one time in Albuquerque that I went with my friend to a school. It was like a barber school or stylist school. Um, and you could get like a haircut, facial or something like for 20 bucks. I don't remember what all it was, but nonetheless, it was a very awkward experience for me. So I guess I, I got a trim then. Uh, I was growing my hair long at the time because like my ex said, if I ever cut my hair, he would leave me. So I just got a trim, which is why like after our divorce, you notice my hair went like, whoop. and plus after the, the gastric sleeve, um, like my hair thinned out for years. It's like, like I was saying in one of my videos, I can't believe how thick my hair is now. Um, I was afraid to grow it out. Cause so one, I like short hair too. I was afraid to grow it out because it got really thin for a while after the gastric sleeve. And it would just like, I'd run my fingers through it and it would just like, it was horrible. And it's weird cause I've started eating carbs and fruits again. And my hair has gotten thicker. I'm like, wow, that's that's kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, we have a gym here. There's actually kind of two. And I say kind of because one is only open for a certain amount of hours. And I know it may sound like excuses. Both the gyms here suck. Um, they did start opening the gym at the college 24-7 again. But... Now it's $30 a month and it's not that good of a gym to pay $30 a month in my opinion. Uh, I don't even think half the machines could handle me. But also like I just don't feel like in my head it doesn't justify because when I used to pay $30 a month for a gym I had a swimming pool. <laughs> That's the main reason I want a gym is for the swimming pool. And um... The other gym is only open from like this hour, or like I think 5, 6, 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. until like 7 or 8. And it's the one where all the cops go. And again, all it has is like weights and maybe a couple machines. So, but it's all, where did all the cops in town go? And I'm just like, no, thank you. And groceries, um, we do we usually try to go out of town once a month, do a big stock up. Um, it, the grocery here store here I, I am thankful we have a grocery store in town but their prices are very high and they don't have a lot of selection um, very basic meat potatoes and cheese kind of thing produce is iffy sometimes you get good produce at a reasonable price sometimes you get really bad produce at a more expensive price um there's been many times you buy stuff and it's expired it's rotting um you know you just gotta really be careful we do get stuff on sale when it's here but like they don't have they don't have a lot they don't even have hummus at our store or if they do they moved it somewhere i can't find it they used to have only garlic hummus and it was by the yogurts. And for a while they had the hummus by the produce, like where the pre-made salads are. And then they had it like by the, the potato salads and stuff. But then they, I haven't seen it. And if they have it, they put it somewhere and I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really, I did a video once kind of showing it off like in the members only I don't know I don't go much because I'm always a small town thing is people always say hi to you if they, you know and it's like I don't want to talk to anybody um I do go occasionally but not that often because I just don't want to run into anybody and have to talk to people and there's no off hours it's not 24 hours it closes at 8 p.m and it opens at like 7 a.m so I can't go at like 5 in the morning I can't go at like 10 at night <sighs> So, you know, even if I could, I mean, what is there to get? <laughs> okay, this is long enough. I will do a part two. And if you have any more questions, just feel free to ask. I'm an open book, really. Um, 
Hey, Pip. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, guess that's it. Till next time. Stay humble and stay kind and look out for the normal people. Mm. <laughs>